Welcome to the Shapes 2 bonus video. Yes, half hour ago you had a Shapes video and now you've got a little bonus one as well just to show you how far you've come. If you've got no idea what this game is all about, please look at the first video we released about half hour ago and that shows you what the, the factory looked like and how we got to that factory and then it did a tutorial on how to build the factory. Now, now the game has progressed by a few hours and I want to show you all the magic that's unlocked and this is only just the beginning. So here we are in the game, you know, the vortex, you've seen the vortex before, you can see the shapes that are flowing in the vortex, but you know, we've got some new bits and pieces to do, look at this, we've got coloured shapes that you've got here, um, we've got some other colour magic that's going on over here, we've got these shapes over here, so there's all these different kinds of things that are actually going on. Now, um, this is just the beginning of it. So we zoom out a little bit and look over here. We've got space highways that is basically taking ink from this asteroid cluster and moving it across here so we can make all these items green as we need to be doing. Uh, we've got another one somewhere else where we've got, uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Um, no, not there it is. There it is. We've got these shapes with these funny little angles that we can't make ourselves being drawn from an asteroid. So this game gets immensely bigger where your asteroid, your thing, goes basically virtually worldwide. We've got these red circles here that we don't have because we haven't got the paint for that. So yeah, everything is coming together quite nicely. And with this green ink here, all the way over here, we've got a blue ink as well. And all this hangs together to basically form the factory uh, that we've got here. So interestingly, um, or not interestingly, one of the things we've got to do, we've got to get 4,000 of these shapes here. And the milestones is basically what unlocks you to new things. So we've added fluids and paints in to do things, and then we'll get trains when we complete all these items here. Now, I need to speed up the making of this particular object here. So if we go back here by pushing escape, I've got a new factory ready to go. Dear gods, this is like the M25, doesn't it? You know what, actually what we probably want to do here is go to decorations, go to decorations, and we're going to do here, and we are going to call this, what do we, no, we're going to, no, 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 good lord, we're not going to call it anything when we do it wrong. All right, so get rid of that. No, I'm deleting it, aren't I? Oh my god. You know, this shows how little I've used the decorations. Right. Put that there. Okay, left click. Okay, escape. Uh, left click. There we go. Configure the, the no dear lord. I must have caps lock on. The M25. Oh, you can't put numbers in. Good lord, you can't put numbers in. There we go, that will do the M25. So this is the M25 because it's all backed up. And if you've never been to England, the greatest of Great Britain, that motorway is always stacked. M stands for motorway. Anyway, what we're doing is we want to increase the number of these that we do. So I've built this all ready to go. It's actually a clone of these two here because you can cut and paste things quite easy. And we are going to go to shape processing, get a road, a conveyor belt, and put it there. And boom, there we go. We are now making more of these and the M25, the M25 is slowly starting to move here. But yeah, all these things, yo, all these blue bits come in and look, look at these shapes here. These have little white bits on and we didn't need these. So we have to set up these factories to cut them and rotate them and position them as we want. And we need these squares. We need these squares to create this item here. So they basically all get sucked into this malarkey that you create and form these squares that gets thrown all the way over, dragged all the way around, and then when it gets to the bottom here, that circle drops down on it, and it's created a new one that can then be thrown into the void. The circles, the circles, where are they? Here we are. The circles are actually half circles that come from here, and then you put all, are they half circles? No, no, no. Yes, they are half circles that come from here. We have to cut off half of them because we don't want those bits. We rotate them, bring them all together, and yeah, all works to throw into here. Now, you know, if we zoom out and we go really high, you get a really good view of what is going on here. These icons get a little bit larger just to demonstrate that basically groups of icons flowing through, because you wouldn't be able to see the little ones. But this 
this is a great game and we've only still started to begin to unlock things if we go to research here you know this is the levels we are now at the moment uh, we want to unlock a stacker which is a bend a curved one we want to unlock the third floor but that is so many research points away and it goes on and on and on you know basics I've, I've considered unlocking this but you know what that could be troublesome for the moment but yeah it just adds and adds and adds operator so we are continuing to produce these pieces even though we don't need to make them anymore because when we've got 15,000 of them we will basically get um, 50 of these platform pieces and two research points so let's go back here let's go back here the platform pieces allow you to create space highways and stuff like that and knowing that we've got trains coming up you know it's going to be useful um, this little bit here um, this is basically bringing in these items across here and it cuts them um, to how we want and then we put them together in the little stars to basically make the object that we need some of these have got to be painted we need some blue ones I don't think we need the non-color ones anymore yes we do yes we do for this object here um, but yes so all the paint comes in through here it goes through these tubes and you see these items getting painted as they go um, for this strange little object that we've got here the stars come down they get thrown across and then it all gets mishmashed and thrown together and eventually we have these little production things that take the stars and they, 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 they take circles and then some squares are brought in as well here right at the end um, so it creates the objects and the, these creative ones go to the top the squares go to the bottom and right at the end coming out just here in fact let's turn that around for you you will see this object that we want so yeah this this is truly a fun game and i just wanted to show you a little bit more on what's been going on how we've progressed and you know what we've done and you know it only gets bigger better so you know, you've got these tasks here you know some of these strange things that we are going to have to create you know you go down here and it's like lord god almighty and obviously you get points by doing it the harder ones that you create the more points that you get but it brings everything together in one crazy mismatch and we are only playing we are only playing the normal level here so yeah a little bonus video to bring you up to date with what we've done there um you know i, I, I i'm going to keep coming back to this game you know this this is a marvelous game this is a fun game and it is so relaxing you know you would think all of this would be stressful you know i would be cursing mother mary the breasts of margaret the beard of god the pubes of christ i would be cursing all of those but no you don't it really really is good genuine fun so i hope you've enjoyed the bonus video this is shapes 2 and i wanted to show you a little bit more um after a few more hours play uh that we've got here um but yeah good 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 game and a little tip you can't leave it just sitting in the background. You've got to nudge it every once in a while. Because if you've got your factory doing all your magical stuff, making your shapes for you, you can't really make it go any faster apart from upgrading the conveyor belt speeds and stuff like that. And it knows when you're away from the keyboard. And after an hour or so, it will pause itself. So you know, you've got to go back and unpause it. But yeah, I've had a lot of fun so far building this factory. I'm, I'm going to continue having fun in between making videos, building factories. You know, I've now got two go to games in the background i've got this game and i've got vampire survivors all of you stay safe all of you take care and enjoy this free video all our videos are free but enjoy this free free video goodbye gentlemen's pixel club the ultimate game channel on youtube